Hello everyone. Uh, today we're doing something um, new. We're doing an unhauling slash uh, flexing slash show collection video. You see, I'm a fan of Richard Lehman, and um, I have plenty of his books, as you can see. Unfortunately, for those people who are into 80s paperbacks and their very um, colorful covers, um, I had the Lehman collection, the collected edition from the Zeros here. And uh, today I'm completing the complete run, uh, the complete biography of Richard Lehman. So let's see what we have here. And then we'll unpack the rest of them. Uh, unfortunately, um, as I was preparing for this video, I discovered there was missing one book, one book I have read, uh, The Cellar, his debut novel, and one of my favorite horror novels. Uh, probably lost it um, during a move. Um, there were some books I misplaced while changing houses, and I think it was there. So I've ordered it again because I want to reread it one of those days and uh, once it comes we'll also unpack it and put it with the rest of them. What can I do? So I'm on my living room table. Um, there is no way those books, will, those books will fit into my bookshelves. And let's see the books we have. We have um, uh, Trias. It's a collection. It was co-written by Jack Ketchum, Richard Lehman, and Edward Lee. Originally, it was supposed to be written by Richard Lehman and Jack Ketchum. However, Jack Ketchum was unavailable, so Edward Lee took his place. Uh, it's uh, three stories. They start with the same premise, that a maniac goes into a workspace and starts shooting people. And Richard Lehman's story is pretty interesting. It's fun. Um, in my opinion, not his very best. But it's fun. Uh, what really steals the show in this book, and it's a recommend because of it, it's Edward, Edward Lee's story. It's a science fiction horror, very bloody, very gory, very twisted, and has one ending you won't believe you, you, you will read. Really. Uh, Jack Ketchum's story is good. I really like Jack Ketchum. I bought this book because of Jack Ketchum, but his story was not what I expected. So yeah, that's a great book. Let's go to um, The Beast House trilogy. I've read those two books. And I've also read The Cellar, uh, Richard Lehman's very first book. Uh, that's the only book of his I won't have in the collected edition because I have bought them separately. Um, the Cellar is not here, it's an amazing book. Maybe I'll put a review uh, when it comes and I can hold it. Uh, fun fact. I've also I've all, have also misplaced uh, the Beast House. I was reading it in a bus on a long trip. A girl comes and sits to me, wants to chat me up, and I'm kind of embarrassed to tell her. I was expecting she would ask, "What are you reading?" And I would say, "Oh, it's a horror novel about a haunted house, uh, under which mutated monkeys live, and they abduct and rape women." Yeah, so I uh, stashed it in, um, in my seat and I uh, forgot it. So I had to reorder this book and read it from where I've left it. Uh, yes, that sucks. Uh, the Midnight Tour is the third book of the Beast House trilogy. And to be fair, if I ever misplaced it, I wouldn't order it again. <laughs> uh, it was fun. It was a fun book, but it was very by the numbers layman. To be honest. Uh, so now let's go to the other books I've read, like um, this one, The Woods Are Dark and Not Are the Lights. There are two books, there are his second and third book. Uh, I wasn't much excited by this book. Uh, one of the problems is that The Woods Are Dark, it's a cannibal story. It's very funny because um, Jack Ketsam's first book was about cannibals. His second book was about a haunted house, and Lehman does the opposite. His first book is about a haunted house um, with um, 
Morse is living underneath and he's second is about cannibals. However, this version is, as far as I know, a very um, abridged version. It has been, um, it has some of the more controversial scenes removed by the publisher. So yes, um, there's another version that he's not directed, that's a full version. And I will probably try to give it a go because uh, I was not excited by the Wizard Dark. And Outer the Lights are also not one of the best uh, layman novels. Uh, it felt all over the place, in my opinion. It's about a snuff movie, and there's also some shenanigans with a married couple where the girl is blind and uh, the boyfriend is um, cheating on her and stuff. And um, I don't know, I didn't much like it. So. Here we are. Now let's put the beast house first. Okay, there was no way those books would work. Um, next, we have um, Volume 5 from the ones I've read, Flash and Resurrection Dreams. Um, these two are much better, in my opinion, than the rest of the books I have here. Um, it's a uh, prime time fun, really. Flash is about an organism, a parasite that goes into people and makes them... Uh, raving mad and uh, there's also some girls who live in a safe house and stuff and a police officer of course uh, it was a good gory uh can be fun it was much like an 80s splatter horror movie really really liked it um resurrection dreams is a standout it's one of the lemon classics i think um, there is this boy who is in high school and he tries to bring the dead back to life and um, for a science experiment and uh, he's put in a, a situation because of that but he has the house for a certain girl and uh, lots of stuff happen it's very it's fun pace it's a very fast pace it's fun it's a great one um actually um yeah and here is the first layman book i have read uh funland and the stake uh funland is along with a seller the best uh layman book i've read to date um it's about a theme park um, where homeless people disappear. No, sorry, uh, where uh, people disappear. And then we have a couple of police officers, again. There are the two attractive, um, young attractive police officers that have a lot of bander. Uh, and of course, they're attracted to each other. And we have some kids who are there. We have, um, I think we have a bl blue colored boy who is the new uh, person. And he falls for a cheerleader, and uh, yeah, uh, lots of mayhem ensues um, after a while. And then we have uh, the stake, it's about a writer and his uh, wife, and they find a corpse with a stake through its heart, and they take it to their house because reasons. And he, the husband, the author, has a lot of weird dreams about this. Um, This corpse, um, contrary to many vampire novels, it's not like they find the corpse with a stake, they remove a the stake and uh, the vampire comes. It's uh, much more... Um, that trope is uh, subverted because um, the heroes of the novel um, think to themselves, 
should we remove the stake or not and they it's a will they want they or is it a vampire or not and that's fun uh, so these are the novels I've read to date and let's see we also have um, I also have bought these ones and I uh, I had the massive haul two years ago Um, see, I was thinking to myself, I uh, used to go and get another Leo novel, novel, and I went for, I uh, was looking for number three, for book number three, but I found out in Book Depository that, that these books were getting uh, out of stock, so I bought all the books available. And um, then a few days ago, uh, somebody in my Facebook uh, feed mentioned Richard Lehman, and I thought, oh, I should probably go and find the rest of his books. So I went to Amazon Call UK and got them uh, as used. So let's see what the cat dragged in. Okay. Quick question, how do you uh, open this uh, package using only one hand? Uh, damn it. Wait a second. Here it is. Somebody thought to send me a <laughs> booklet. And here we have Lucky number 13, Fiends and After Midnight. Yes, uh, okay. Fiends is, uh, seems very lame only. We have a woman, her a soldier, uh, her boyfriend. Uh, yeah, get some nice talking and stuff, and lots of perfect uh, sex scenes and good old violence. And after midnight, um, house sitting. My walks after the wounds, changing the pool. Okay, after midnight sounds interesting. Uh, there is a mystery to the blurb. She's a woman all alone, south, uh, house sitting, and a man jumps in and she gets a saber. And uh, I'm intrigued, I want to read this one. Uh, I'll put it on my to read list. Um, and then we have this one from World of Books. Alright, you probably wonder what the hell happened, because one moment I was opening a package and the right next one we have all the books laid together. Uh, we had an extra 20 minutes of video that was not recorded because um, my phone decided to stop the recording and I didn't check. Uh, and I also I did another oopsie the other day, yes it's another day, it's I think a week later. And um, there was one other book that was not included in the packages, and that's Volume 7. Which actually means Volume 9, this should be over here. So, let's um, put everything together again. Let's be the pedantic people that we are. I am geeky and... Uh, <laughs> yep, uh, lots of books. See, that's better. So we have this package over here. See this? It oh no, that's not so my dress. And let's unpack it. Wait a minute. Ah. 
<clears throat> Let me grab my knife. Okay, don't do this at home. This gig here is a trained professional. Don't try this, do this at home. You may have blood on your hands. You may have blood on this video, and then this video will be uh, demonetized forever because of excessive gore. Uh, but I'm not monetized, so yes, do this Giga Solid, and please press the, the subscribe button. Yep, that's better, that's opening. It's very hard to open a package with one hand. Oh. Here it is, number nine is coming. Time to have fun. Uh, yep, I suck at this. Uh, so, this is it. This is uh, Endless Night and Midnight Slur. Let's the blurbs. Because we've missed the other ones. I did each and every one of those books for 20 minutes and it was not recorded. So, Endless Night. Uh, Jodie Fargo. What the hell? Jodie Fargo is 16, but tougher than she looks. She sleeps over at friends and the killers break in. They assault the family, she escaped the girl, and uh, yeah, and she's chased by the killers. Uh, seems uh, pretty much a uh, run of the mill story. And there is a cave where tourists go, and there are monsters, sounds like the cellar. And a, there's a power failure, there's a power failure. And it traps the tourists on the ground and creatures emerge. Yeah, sounds like a classic. Uh, sounds like fun. It's not the sexiest of the blurbs. Some of the other later books, after 10, have some amazing blurbs that made me really want to uh, read them. Uh, the early ones did not, unfortunately. <sighs> so. Here are the entire of the books. Actually, I should probably uh, move them along for the seller. I'm waiting for the seller to arrive. And then we'll have a big video with this very, very fail attempt at an unboxing. Thank you. And we'll be here in a few more days. Actually, a few seconds for you with the final package. So, here we are. And the final book of the Lehman collection has arrived. Uh, yes, it's nine times not the video. It's the final part. And had I not uh, messed up with um, the previous, the first one, unboxing, unwrapping and stuff, it will be perfectly fine. This one I bought from Book Depository. Um, the main thing with Book Depository is if you're not in uh, the UK or in the US, um, you get free shipping. So that's why I prefer them, even though they're not as uh, good as um, Amazon. They have some nice, uh, they, have, they don't have uh, this called the collection of Amazon, the amount of books, as well as um, the prices. They're a bit more expensive and there are no used books, so you can get those. Um, old classic horror books for a penny plus shipping. So, the book over here is The Cellar by Richard Lehman. It matches the other two, uh, the other three uh, covers. Unfortunately, um, Friday night over here is in the collection, so yes, it's not perfect. Uh, I mean, the entire series is um, the collection, the... Mm. The headline collection and um, 
this one is also headlined by the paperbacks uh, so that's not um, great um, if you're uh, curious the seller is about um, it's going to be a reread during the summer I think it's a very fun book I really liked it it's very extreme it has provoked some very um, visceral reactions from many readers I was reading some um, comments some reviews on Goodreads and uh, people were shocked by this book it's uh, very visceral it's fun but in a nasty way and um, you can stomach some uh, divinity. It's a perfect read uh, if you like these uh, nasty horror novels. Um, it's about a haunted house, only there's a monster living in the cellar. And we have this woman and her daughter who try to escape um, her uh, previous husband, who is another good guy. He's a human monster. And they stumble upon it as well as they meet an assassin who tries to go in the house and deal with its inhabitants. It's very fun. It's uh, uh, the first Lehman, Lehman novel, and um, I think it's his most extreme. I think it set the path for many of his later books, and I think it's much bleaker than some of his later works, the ones I've read, of course. So, um, that's the Lehman collection that it's finished. Um, let me uh, get the complete um, picture of the books. And um, let me ask you something. Uh, which one would you read? Which one do you want? Let me get this out of the way too. Um, which of those books would you read next? As I told you, I've read uh, Trias, The Cellar, um, The Beast House, uh, The Midnight Tour, The Goods Are Dark, Out of the Lights, that's over there. Uh, Flash, Resurrection Dreams, um, Funland, The Stake, and I think that's all of them. So, uh, what should I read next? I'm definitely reading one of them uh, during the summertime, during my summer vacations next month. Um, I would like to listen to your suggestions about what to, which one to read next. Maybe I'll read The Cellar, but I would like to also get another one of those books and read them as well. Uh, so, um, I hope you like Lehman. I hope you can forgive all those mishaps during um, the filming of this um, unboxing that went very wrong. And I'll try to have some better reviews for the books once they're read. Um, have fun!